County may have a chance of an in person start. Yeah, CBS 13's Heather Jansen is live in El Dorado County tonight, which is not on the state's radar, at least not yet, right, Heather? Yeah, absolutely. Today's news was promising for a lot of parents who hope their kids can return here to the classroom and in person. But a lot of parents say they're not holding their breath as El Dorado County creeps up on the state's radar. We're just getting closer and closer. Andrea Van Rye is not just a parent. She's a small business owner and one that's been keeping a close eye on the county, wondering when businesses may have to shut down again. I watch it on an hourly basis to see what's going to happen and um, so I can keep my clients informed. A county spokesperson telling us ending up on the watch list is likely inevitable. It's just a matter of when, meaning schools wouldn't welcome kids to the classroom if it happens before the school year starts. Just like a majority of schools around the state forced to start from a distance after Governor Newsom's latest mandate. Learning remains non-negotiable, but neither is the safety of all of our cohorts. Andrea's confidence in an in-person start not high. She says that would mean some sacrifices for her high school junior, Jake, one that could take a toll on his future. He wants to be a chef when he grows up, so there's a culinary program at El Dorado High School that he planned to be a part of his whole life that now might not happen. Now, hypothetically speaking, if El Dorado County stays off the watch list and chooses to reopen schools by the time school starts, there is still a chance that they could be shut down if 5% of one school contracts the virus. And the district, one of the districts, could be shut down if 25% of that entire district gets the virus as well. Yeah, a lot of numbers out there today. Bottom line, you got to get the numbers down as far as the number of viruses, of cases of the virus. Heather, thank you. Live in Placerville, here's some of the other guidelines given by the state. As we mentioned, masks will be required for all staff and students in third grade and up. They are strongly encouraged for preschool to second grade. For physical distancing, teachers will have to stay six feet away from each other and students. And each school day will start with temperature checks at the door.